101. I'm glad you had time to stop by and join us today. I am working on what I like to call a busy bag for my little one. Um, if you've watched the channel before, you know I like to make little rock games to keep in my purse. Um, we pull them out when we're at doctor's offices or out to eat at restaurants waiting for food. It's just a fun little game or something to kind of play with for my little one. Um, we're heading into winter, so as much as I still love to get out and hide some rocks, because I feel like there's lots of, plenty of people that need winter cheer, um, it's also not always as convenient, but we can make lots of fun little rock gifts and things like that, or decorations to have around the house um, for when people come to visit. So this is just something that's Fun and simple to do. If you have um, little ones at home or grandchildren at home, this would make a fun stocking stuffer or just to have out during the holiday season when they come over to play, just to keep them busy for a little while. So I'm just starting by putting circles on each of my rocks. And if you're watching um, the premiere of this in the upper left-hand corner, uh, nobody has seen this video yet. So if you wanna take a guess, Maybe you can tell already what we are kind of working with here. If you have an idea, go ahead and guess below because you're watching the premiere. Um, if it's not the premiere, then maybe you're seeing the guesses go by or you, you definitely maybe saw it right at the beginning a little bit because um, you get to hit play. But on the premiere, when you jump on and join us, you don't get to see that sneak peek at the beginning. So I'm just gonna finish. I'm putting a circle on each one of these. And when I fill this one in, spoiler alert, if you haven't guessed by now, we're working on some snowmen. So just a nice light coat. I'm not even gonna double the coats on these. Um, I feel like kind of those little swooshes and whooshes on there is okay to have. Just because when you roll up a snowball, a lot of times you get other little variations of color in there um, of dirt and grass and whatever. So not that big of a deal. So we're going to do uh, mix and match snowmen. So I'm gonna give these just a second to dry here. Uh, and then we're gonna start decorating each of our sections of snowmen. Uh, I can do some arms on here, on one of them here. I'm gonna do arms on this piece here. I'm gonna kind of move my pieces off to the side so that they're not in the way. There we go. To keep them in order though, and I'll show you why here at the end. So we're gonna just go ahead and put a couple arms on here. And if your rocks are thin, you can always bend your stick downward if you want your hands to be longer, like so. Couple arms, like that on this guy. And let's see, I would kinda like to work my way around and do one piece at a time. So we're gonna do arms on him and just the classic buttons down the front. One, two, three, like that. And let's do the other center section while we're at it here. On this guy, I'm just gonna go ahead and do maybe a, a green scarf on him. So I'm gonna have it kind of go across the neckline here, right along the top of our circle. I'm gonna have this kind of fold over the top and flow down the front. Like so. We're gonna line these at the end so you can add details when you do that. Little scarf like that. Again, I've got my piece of paper off to the side here. Um, if you get a little white on your tip, just doodle it off. There we go. And he could probably have some arms too. That scarf's not covering where his arms would be at. So let's go ahead and have his kinda come straight out to the side that, and one here off to the side like that, and I think that section's okay. Move those off to the side. Now on the bottom, there's not really a whole lot. Um, you, you can kind of play around with ideas of what you'd like to have at the base of uh, your snowman. Um, this one over here, I'm just gonna cover the ground as if it's white with snow, like so. And again, we're gonna line everything so you'll see the snowball when it's all said and done. And I'm actually, well, wait, 
for this white to dry a little bit, but I can go ahead and put them in there. I'm going to add a couple little somethings popping up from the ground here because sometimes you have these little pieces of grass that kind of sneak their way up out of the snow or maybe it was a spring snow or an early snow just like that and again white on the tip doodle it off it's easier to clean your tips when they're wet and on the other side here let's see we are just gonna do just a, just a basic little snow here on this one like so just like that move those off to the side make sure i still got the right ones here all right we have our heads now i have got to do a classic top hat here so um, if you're not familiar with doing one of those, uh, we're just going to start by giving ourselves the top of our hat. And he's a snowman, so I'm going to make it kind of a little whimsical, a little fun, have it tilted to the side just a little bit. And you want to come in and taper it in just a smidge. And then have it billow back out. And then we're going to have the rim of his hat, which will go on top of his head. Come out to the side a little bit. And before we fill this in, it's easier to add your color now before we put black over the top. I'm going to do his little decorative rim in red. And I cannot find my extra fine tip red. That's another reason I want to do this part first. So if I mess it up, I can clean up my lines with my black. So I'm just going to fill that in red like so. We'll let that dry and then we'll fill in that hat while that's drying. I'm going to grab my orange here, do a classic carrot nose, fill that in, and we will get our eyes on here, one, two, and our coal dots for our smile like that. I'm going to let that hat dry a little bit more before I fill it in with black. On this one, I think I want to give him more of like a, a Santa style hat. So let's do a blue one. This guy can be a little more wintry. I don't want them to be necessarily Christmassy. That way you can leave them out further into the season. So we're just going to give him like a, a flopping kind of elf style hat. Uh, so to do that, we're going to start by doing the top part. So we're going to shape our hat up to the point. And if you've watched the gnome video, this is kind of the same style hat. You're going to swoop it off to the side like so, so that you come to a point there. And then we're going to come right back across the top of our head. And then we're going to meet it down there below. And it's the, the detail in the lines we'll do at the end that will really give it a nice fold. So we're just going to go ahead and fill this in. I'm using extra fines on all of these today, except for my red, because I lost it, and my white, because I didn't want you guys to have to watch me fill them all the way in. You can definitely do these with your acrylic paints at home. I just wanted my layers to dry fast so I could get through the video quicker. And we're going to bring this all the way down to a little point, like so. And we're going to let that dry while we fill in our hat. So we're going to go in here and do our top hat right up to that red. And we're actually expecting snow today, so it's a perfect time for me to start some fun snowmen. I've been going through and looking through all my older videos that we posted last year. The page is just now hitting a year old. So if you, however long you've been following along, we really appreciate it. We've grown so much adding the site and we have our group and everything. There we go. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, while I have this guy, I'm going to just kind of clean this up just a smidge. There we go. All right. Now we'll go back to our little hat here. I'm gonna add a little ball at the end of the blue 
And when we go back through with our, see that wasn't completely dry. When we go back through with our, our black, we can really define that, but he needs a face. So just to mix it up, we'll give him his nose going off the other direction. I wanna give my little ones plenty of little things to go off of. Okay, now I'm gonna start lining these and I'm gonna show you something new. I actually ordered, I saw somebody talking about these pens in another rock group, because I'm in so many. Um, but they're they're still the secure or secure secura pigma micro pens, but this one is a PN tip. Now the difference between these and the set that I use a lot is it doesn't have the different sizes of tips, so you won't be able to go all the way down to those super, super fine lines that you get with the set. However, this one has a different style of tip. It's more of a plastic nib, and so for working on rocks, as long as this is the line thickness that you're looking for, um, it, I, I'm thinking it's gonna have a little bit more longevity to it. Um, it has, um, the other ones can kind of wear down over time when you're using them on rocks. Now these are smoother rocks, so it wouldn't be as big of a deal. Um, but I did add them into the shop if you're interested in checking them out. They have a pack that comes in three different colors or a pack where you get three blacks. So I went ahead and got the three blacks because this, you'll see the, the line weight on this. It's about what I would normally like for my outlining. And that's what I use my black for the most. So I figured this would in the long run save me a little bit of money. So I'm gonna go along and I'm gonna line the outside of my hat. Now I kind of like the idea of not being super precise with this, kind of try to stay along the outline, but I'm kind of letting it be a little loose, more of a coloring book style. And then once you've got to the side of the hat, I'm gonna try to bring it in so you can see this when it's done. To make the fold of your hat, you wanna start by imagining this side coming up equivalent to this side over here. So you're gonna make a line coming up, like so, like that. And then you're gonna make the fold, which will almost make it into like a Y shape, just like that. And see how quickly that creates a fold in your hat. And it's kind of darker, because I got a blue hat. But I think you can see that. Just that little touch turns it into a folded hat as opposed to just a blob falling off the side of his head. So we're just gonna go around and outline. And like I said, I'm going very loose with my outline. I want it to kind of have this almost a coloring book style feel to it. Go around these little guys. There we go. And I'm even lining along the bottom here. Now when you get to your scarf, remember we had this part when you wear your scarf, it flops over the top there. So we wanna do that outline first to give the scarf a little bit more definition, like that. And then we'll do the ones that go to the side, like so. Oh, and I forgot to do my carrot nose. I am gonna outline my carrot nose. Like so. Got a little bit of ink on there. When you get the paint on there, you just go to your paper just like you would anything else to get it off. And then just a couple little lines to give that circular shape to your carrot nose. All right, where was I at? Those sticks here. So we'll get our sticks coming off the body first because usually they're gonna stick into the side. So I know these seem like really itty bitty details, but sometimes those are the little things that matter. So see how the stick goes onto the body and now when you come behind it with the shape of your snowball or the body shape, it really makes it stand out. Like it's stuck into the side of that guy. And I'll get this a little closer so you can see it's hard for me to hold this not on a surface. But see here, I'll bring that in for you. See how just that little pushback of the snowball gives it just that little bit of definition. Just little tricks. Move that one off to the side. Get this face here. And 
since I'm doing kind of this coloring book style to it, not taking a long time now, depending on your style, you can definitely take your time and really add beautiful lining to this if that's the way you want them to look. But I just like this because it kind of might, I think my daughter likes to play with things like that a little bit more when they don't look extremely perfect because she imagines she can have made them maybe a little bit herself. All right, now this one, see, I want this stick to look like it's coming from behind the ball. So see, it's gonna go right up to the edge and that makes it drop behind it. And then this one's in front. Like you said, a little bit of an angle. So that's the difference right there. You can see both on that. All right, and then this one, a smoosh, snow underneath. Enough. All right. There we go. Now, I'll show you the other sides of these. Make sure that you clean off the tip of your pen a little bit, just like a, can you see this here? Just kind of a, a roll on its side, and you can get anything off of there that might be all there. I already did the other sides of these, um, so you didn't have to sit and watch, but this way you can be in. Get a little more inspiration on other things that you can do on your snowman. So we've got uh, one that's catching snowflakes, and we got one with a stocking cap. This one's kind of similar on the back side, just a couple arms. Um, this one's a red scarf, and then I've got some grass covered in snow and just another plain snowflake. So that's the fun of these; they can really mix and match them, and see how many different combinations they can come up with to create two fun snowmen. So they're a fun idea. And then I've got these little bags is what I do. Once I get these sealed, I will do a very good coat um, of spray on them. Light coat a couple times and then a really thick coat because they're gonna be in the bag. They'll be hitting each other. But these cute little bags, I'm not gonna throw them in there now because they don't have a seal, but they pull tight like this. And they're perfect for little stocking stuffers or just to keep in your purse or to keep on your um, in your end table drawer for when the little ones are around. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. If it's going to be snowing, try to stay warm. Um, and I hope you enjoy this fun rock painting tutorial. Thanks for the shares, likes, comments, and everything. Bye-bye now.